Copilot in Word assures a new era of writing leveraging the power of AI. It can help you go from a blank page to a finished document in just a fraction of time. Like, you know, it would take hours for you to compose text on your own. So hey everyone, welcome back to Skill Curve, where we post daily videos on new cutting edge technology. So today we'll be discussing about using Microsoft Copilot Pro in Microsoft Word. So in this video, I'll basically tell you everything, the overview of Microsoft Copilot Pro in Microsoft Word, all the features, like all the things you can do uh, while using Microsoft Copilot Pro in Word. So yeah, whether you are uh, creating a new document or working on an existing one, Copilot can help you move forward in all those cases. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it and explore this amazing AI tool Copilot Pro in Microsoft Word. All right, so before uh, using Microsoft Copilot Pro in a Word, so if you are wondering like how you can integrate and set up Copilot Pro in your Microsoft Word, so you should definitely check out my previous video where I told you the whole procedure and step like how you can use the Copilot Pro in your Microsoft 365 apps, all right? All right, so after you are done and ready to go, you need to go ahead and click on Word. So this will basically uh, jump right into the Word where you can go ahead and open a blank document. You can go ahead and choose any of the themes if you have the Microsoft 365 subscription, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and open a blank document right here. All right, and after that, if your uh, Copilot Pro is integrated, so... Soon, it will show you a pop-up where you can draft with Copilot. So you can describe what you like to write, including notes or an outline. And Copilot can generate a draft to help get you started, okay? So first of all, let's just go ahead and give a simple prompt and see what kind of features Copilot Pro offers in Microsoft Word. Okay, so I'm going to write here, write a blog post for scope of AI engineering in 2024. And after that, I'm just going to go ahead and hit generate. So soon you're going to realize it will start creating a draft as pulling a things together for me now. And from here, if you want, you can go ahead and stop generating or you can press escape for that. So yeah, as you guys can see, it is basically creating the whole blog post for me about AI engineering for 2024. It's basically providing the title. So it's keeping all the font, like the colors, each and everything. So it's really, really spot on if you want to do creative content or anything like that. And you can do lots of more other things as well that I'll be discussing later in this video. So yeah, it's finishing up. So we're just going to go ahead and wait for it to finish. All right. So we are all done. So it beautifully wrote the whole blog post for me about AI engineering, a promising career path for 2024 and beyond. So first of all, it told you what is AI engineering why AI engineering is in demand, what are the skills or qualifications you need, how to become an AI engineer, the benefits, and the conclusion, okay? And now, if you can go ahead and see, so now it's giving us a few options, right? So it's asking, write a blog post where you can go ahead and edit prompt. So you can click on that to edit your prompt again. And next, you can go ahead and select keep it if you want to save this in your Microsoft Word, okay? So if you want to confirm this, you can go ahead and click keep it. Then we have regenerate. If you want all of this to regenerate once again so you can go ahead and click on that and if you don't like this you can discard this and you can go ahead and explain like you know uh you can ask few more questions which i'll be showing you in a minute so let's just say i'm very much happy with this blog and i want to keep it okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and hit keep it all right so now uh, my blog post my whole content is being saved in the word and now if you can go ahead and see this option right over here so it say you can add suggested image to your blogs now as well which is really amazing and if i can go ahead and click that so it will give me all the possible stock images which i can input in my blog to make it more and more attractive and it uses basically the web stock images so you can go ahead and select this or this for my blog or i can just go ahead and select this one which looks quite beautiful for the title we're looking for so this is how you can go ahead and enhance your blog by adding suggested images now with copilot pro in microsoft word okay and after that if you want to go ahead and access more options you can go ahead and click on this copilot button right over here so this will basically give you a whole other tab of tons of features where you can get in copilot right so now it's giving uh like few of the things you can try write about something you can change you can summarize this dog you can ask a question okay and then we have a prompt area where you can ask prompt about the content that you just generated okay and then we have this view prompt so you can go ahead and you know get help from microsoft 365 in order to create prompts for you okay so let's just say if i go ahead and click on understand so it says uh tell me more about or summarize this talk or uh okay let's just say if i want to summarize this talk so i'm gonna go ahead and like summarize this doc for me okay 
So this is basically uh, the Copilot chat now integrated in your Microsoft Word, which is really, really amazing. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter. It's like send this command and let's just see how it will summarize this doc for me, okay? All right, so as you guys can see, it's provided a summary of the document main ideas, the definition of AI engineering. Then we have demand, then skills. So it has basically summarized the whole, you can see, is 500 to 800 words blog post to a very little summary, okay? Which you can read and get an idea of what exactly it says, okay? So then, and after that, you can see it basically provided the reference of that, which you can go ahead and check that very easily. Then we have a few more options where you can make the summary longer, include more details in the summary. So then you can edit that as per you need. It's really, really amazing. And then you can go ahead and try write about something. You can change something. You summarize, which I already told you guys. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit stop generating now. And then we have ask a question about, so you can ask any question about this talk without any problem, okay? Let's just say if I want to ask a question like, what are the skills required for AI engineering? Okay, let's just say this is my question. Skills, um, I'm going to go ahead and do require and for end. Okay, let's just hit enter and see what output is going to provide me. All right, and there you go. So you're saying according to the document, AI engineering requires a combination of technical, and soft skills, so these are all the skills it provided me from the document, okay? So that is really, really amazing. So now you can browse the document, you can ask questions that you can write about the document, okay? So it's really cool. All right, so now let's just go ahead and see some of the prompts example that you can use through Microsoft Copilot Pro in your Microsoft Word. Let's just see some of the test cases, like what things you can do with Microsoft Copilot in Word, okay? So for that, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new document once again. All right, so we are all set. So for the first feature, you can go ahead and use Microsoft Copilot Pro for content creation in Microsoft Word, okay? So for that, let's just say I go ahead and I type in the prompt here like, draft an introduction for a report on renewable energy trends in 2024, okay? So if I can go ahead and hit generate. So now you can see it's basically providing me a whole introduction for a report on renewable uh, energy trends in 2024. So if you're into content generation or content writing, so the Copilot Pro is the best feature for you out there, okay? All right, so for the next uh, example, let's just say if you are into editing and proofreading. So now you can use Copilot Pro for editing and proofreading in Microsoft Word. So let's just say if I take this document and I go ahead and go to my Copilot chat in Microsoft Word and I type in my prompt like, check this document for clarity and coherence and provide suggestions to enhance readability, okay? So if I can go ahead and hit enter. So as you guys can see, providing based on the document, document is well structured, coherent and clear. Here are some suggestions to enhance readability because you know, it was generated by a Copilot, but if you can go ahead and write any of your own content, so you can go ahead and proofread that or edit that and rectify your grammatical errors from this amazing feature as well. So it provided me feel the suggestions to enhance readability. So now let's discuss our third feature, which is formatting assistance. So now with the help of Copilot Pro, you can change the format of your writing very, very easily. So let's just say if I go ahead and uh, ask Copilot Pro to Write me an email uh, to my boss for sick leave, okay? And if I can go ahead and hit generate. Okay, so uh, so it has basically, you know, wrote me an email for a sick leave to my boss, dear John, I'm writing to inform you that I'm feeling unwell and need to take a sick leave for today. First of all, let's, let me just go ahead and delete all this document, okay? All right, here you go. And now, let's just say if I want to change the style or format of this uh, email into some more professional or more, you can say, formal, okay? So how can I do that? So uh, let's just say I go ahead and type in my prompt in Copilot Pro like, apply a professional formatting style to this email, okay? And if I hit enter, so here uh, you can see now, so now it basically has changed the whole structure or format of a writing. So everything is so formal and so professional. We have the subject, we have the date, we have to, from, dear, like whole proper format of the email that we should write for some business work. Okay, so I'm writing from feeling unwell, need to take a sick leave for today. I apologize for any inconvenience. Like check out the wording, everything is so, so professional, right? So this is how you can go ahead and use Copilot Pro in formatting assistance, okay? All right, so now next one on number four is language translation, okay? So you can now go ahead and translate language from any one language to other by using Copilot Pro very easily. So let's just say, I keep this writing and I want to change the language 
from English to Spanish. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and prompt Copilot Pro that. First of all, I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna hit Copilot and I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit. All right, so it has basically, you know, selected all this. And now I can write here, translate the following email from English to Spanish. Okay, and if I can go ahead and hit generate, so now, as you guys can see, it basically translated the whole email for me from English to Spanish with just one prompt. So this is how crazy and good it is, okay? All right, so you can go ahead and use Copilot Pro for researches assistance. So, you know, now you can go ahead and research through different blogs, different paragraphs, like no matter what it is, you can use Copilot Pro in that regard very, very easily, all right? So let's just say if I go ahead and delete this document and I go to my draft with Copilot and write a prompt, find and summarize three recent articles on artificial intelligence in healthcare. And if I can go ahead and hit generate. So yeah, as you guys can see, basically providing me uh, the three articles on artificial intelligence in healthcare. So we have an introduction, we have article one. Article 2 is in progress. So yeah, that's how you can go ahead and use Copilot Pro for research assistance from the web directly into your Microsoft Word. So this is really, really amazing, okay? Okay, so now last feature is template suggestions. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and do template suggestions, so you can uh, use Copilot Pro in that regard as well. So let's just say if I go ahead and, uh, you know, delete all this once again, okay, I'm going to hit that. And I go to my Copilot, draft with Copilot, and I type in my prompt uh, for some template, asking for template from Copilot, and I say, recommend a layout for an academic research paper. So let's just say what kind of layout is going to provide me for an academic research paper, whether it will be good or not. Let's just see. All right, so here you go, guys. It's basically provided me all the layout or you can say a template for my research paper. So you say how to format an academic research paper. We have introduction, literature review, methodology. It's basically kind of a step. So let's just say if I ask for a template from uh, Copilot Pro now. So let's just say how it's going to help me in that. So I'm going to go ahead and discard this. Come to my Copilot and ask. So just a template for a professional business plan. And if I can go ahead and generate, all right, so here you go, guys. Now we have a business uh, plan template. So first of all, we have executive summary, company description, market analysis, marketing and sales strategy. And this is how you can go ahead and create templates for a professional business plan using Copilot Pro in Microsoft Word, okay, which is really, really amazing. So yeah, there you have it, guys. These were all the features, everything you need to know about using Microsoft Copilot Pro in your Microsoft Word. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. And the next one, we'll be discussing about how you can use that in Microsoft Excel with all the features and all the integrations. So I hope to see you guys in that one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.